I've been on the BBBE challenge for 120 days. That's beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for four months. Well, we can get rid of the eggs because I haven't had them since day 10 of the challenge. 110 days without any eggs. I'm gonna do what I'm calling a reverse egg fast. So I'm just not gonna eat. How long am I gonna fast? Until I eat some eggs. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Carnivore Quest, where me and my wife Cassie are attempting to lose almost 250 pounds eating the carnivore diet. So far, we've lost a combined 130 pounds and we're getting our life back, feeling a lot better. And for the first time in a long time, we're very encouraged that we are gonna break our food addiction. So like I said, I haven't had eggs in 110 days and I love eggs. Eggs are awesome. Eggs are easy. You can make them so many different ways. Yeah, you can make them hard boiled and take them with you somewhere. They're just a really good option on the carnivore diets, any low carb diet, but especially the BBB challenge. It's one of your four foods you can have, you know? I mean, if you even count butter as a food, I do. No way. For the last 110 days, I'd say beef has been 90% of my diet, bacon about 8% and butter about 2%. I mean, that's just a guesstimation, but that seems about right. I have ground beef four, five, six days a week and usually have a steak once a week, preferably a ribeye. Uh, as a little treat. One of the main reasons I want to get back to eating eggs is they're affordable. Every time Cassie and I go to the grocery store, it seems like the prices are higher than the last time we were there. Eggs are definitely your cheapest option, especially when doing the BBBE challenge. Right now it's Sunday, August 7th, and I had my last meal yesterday, Saturday, August 6th, at around 5 p.m. I had Cassie's chuck roast. <laughs> Lucky me. I ate about a pound of it. I ate a good bit of it, so... I haven't been hungry so far today. Right now it's 12 o'clock noon. Um, you know, we're coming up on 24 hours soon when I would normally eat because Cassie and I both do OMAD. But I'm definitely not craving eggs right now, so I have a feeling I won't be eating today. I'll check in with you guys in a little while. So it's 11 o'clock p.m. on Sunday. I got a little hungry around normal dinner time, but uh, I have a trick, I know a lot of people use it. Uh, I usually keep a dish out, like on the countertop, <laughs> and I'll keep salt in it. And if I'm having some hunger pains while I'm fasting, I'll walk by there and uh, wet my finger with my tongue and get a little uh, pinch of salt, and it really helps with hunger pains when you're fasting. If you didn't know that little uh, fasting tip, I believe I got that one from Dr. Ken Berry. I'm fairly sure I did. And that was back when I was doing keto. I've also had about four big tumblers of water today. I definitely try and get my water in while I'm fasting. And I use some electrolyte drops from Keto Chow in two of those tumblers. Um, when, when we're fasting, I definitely don't forget those drops. Um, I'm bad about forgetting them at other times, but when we're fasting, I take them. If I don't, I'll get some severe leg cramps at night. So fasting until I finally eat eggs. Some of you might think that's extreme, but it kind of falls in with our August challenge. Um, right now we have our August accountability challenge on Carnivore Quest. Basically pick your poison, choose your way of eating and stick to it all month. Find some accountability. And at the end of the month as an entire channel, we're gonna weigh in and see how much weight we lose. We did it in June and we lost a combined 3,014 pounds. We're shooting for 5,000 this time. If you're new to the channel, there's still three weeks left of the challenge. You can just track your weight loss, follow your diets and get some accountability. So far, uh, it seems like uh, a lot of people have hooked up with uh, accountability partners and some folks are getting some help. Have you found accountability yet? <laughs> I know a lot of you are on the challenge already. Let me know in the comments if uh, you found, you know, one, two, three people to, you know, have your back when, you know, you're being tempted. Right now, I'm editing a video uh, Cassie and I shot earlier today. It should be out tomorrow. It's a reaction video that she's doing um, to a vegan video we saw. Pretty brutal. Our working title was Cassie Roasts Some Vegetables. Once we saw the footage and we saw the video, it was so sad to see these people literally wasting away and just, I mean, basically it looked like they had eating disorders. You know, I know it's one extreme, but I've never seen a compilation video of people on the carnivore diet that looked like that. It was kind of heartbreaking. So we're gonna scratch that title and, uh, you know, roast some vegetables. Yeah, we don't want to roast these people, but man, I hope they find the carnivore diets. You know, even the standard American diet 
is better than vegan. And that's saying a lot. Here, you guys want a little peek? I can do this. <laughs> I'll be doing this for like, probably till about two in the morning I'll get done. So yeah, I call Sunday a wrap. Haven't eaten. We'll see you tomorrow. 10 o'clock a.m. y'all on Monday. I woke up and I was hungry. <laughs> Not hungry enough to have some eggs, but it's been a while since I flexed that fasting muscle. So I had a couple more pinches of salt and it really helped quite a bit. If you've never tried that, you definitely gotta try that if you're fasting, it works. I slept in a little bit. I was up late editing that video a little later than I expected. I forgot to make cold brew coffee, man. I wanted to make some cold brew coffee for this fast. Um, you know, no heavy cream and uh, it's just so much smoother and I'm sitting here drinking black coffee. I mean, I'm blessed to have it, but it's a little bitter. <laughs> I always say that when I show me drinking black coffee, it's always bitter. I know a lot of people say put salt in your grounds. Um, I've tried baking soda in your coffee grounds and that helps a little, but I was kind of being lazy this morning. I mentioned our August challenge last night and one of the things I was going to do for the challenge was extended fasting. Um, the month of July, I actually gained two pounds. So I wanted to break this stall. And so this, you know, reverse egg fast kind of just fits in with the challenge nicely. Um, Cassie's going to do some extended fasting too. Uh, next week, we'll probably do a 48 hour or 72 hour fast. Let you guys know ahead of time on that one. This one, I kind of wanted to keep under wraps and uh, just see how long it takes before uh <laughs> I eat some eggs. I was really glad to get that vegan video done last night and it's set to go live here at 1 p.m. Always interested to see how it performs, you know, see if y'all like it. I'll check back with you guys in a while. So far, no food. So it's Monday night, 5 p.m. It's been 48 hours since I've eaten. <laughs> and today's been a little rough, man. I've been hungry. Those of you who've been following the channel for a long time know I struggle. Second day of a fast. Um, I wasn't hungry enough to have some eggs, though, or I would have had them. But I was, <laughs> I was a little hungry uh, about two hours ago. Uh, I was kind of pacing back and forth and... The eggs just did not sound good. I've actually kept the refrigerator empty. Uh, we don't have any food in there other than eggs. And Cassie bought the good ones. Look at this. I, I don't eat eggs for 110 days and she's buying the high quality Eggland's best. <laughs> Normally I just get the Walmart brand. Yeah, I didn't want any food readily available. Ground beef, bacon, um, ate it all up. I knew I was going to do this fast and Cassie works uh, over the three day period so she can eat at work and she's OMAD too. So she'll get her food there and you know, I don't have to see it. Got to stay away from little Larry, uh, you know, when he's eating. But I don't really like to be around food when I'm fasting. So I got that steak thawing in the fridge. Um, it, it'll be ready by tomorrow or the following day, however long I go. And I will complement it with some eggs. Cassie's vegan video is doing pretty good. It's been out for four hours. Let us know if you guys like that kind of content. Um, I reacted to Dr. Sean Baker's video, The Marshmallow People. I enjoy doing that. You know, it depends what the topic is, but those are fun to do. So let us know if you like those kind of videos and we'll do a few more. We're not going to change into the reaction channel, but they are pretty cool. We enjoy them. So if nothing crazy happens, like around 9 or 10 tonight, I say, I need some eggs. I'll see you tomorrow. And right now I'll leave you with a few clips over the past 110 days where I've mentioned not wanting eggs. Day 12 on the BBBE challenge. Uh, yesterday around one o'clock, I had uh, one meal. It was three hamburger patties. Uh, no cheese, not like these. Just three hamburger patties with uh, Kerrygold butter on it. And I had three pieces of bacon and five eggs. I wanted to talk about eggs real, real quick. Uh, a couple of you mentioned, you know, when you're eating your hamburger patties, have some you know, hard boiled eggs with it or any kind of egg. You know, the crazy thing is I love eggs. I mean, one of my favorites, right? But I've only had them three times uh, on the BBBE challenge. And I had them the first week, I had a couple scrambled eggs, and then I had a couple fried eggs with some hamburger patties. Week two, I had five eggs with one meal. And uh, I talk about that in a previous video. But I ended up fasting for like 54 hours after that. And ever since then, I just do not crave eggs at all. I'm not, they don't sound disgusting to me, but they just, don't sound good. Uh, next, we got eggs. <laughs> eggs. Uh, $3 for 18 Walmarts. Funny thing is, I have not had eggs in about five weeks, and I love eggs. 
I, second week on the BBBE challenge, um, I had five of them in one sitting. And I don't know if I got sick of them or, I mean, that must be it. But I just haven't had any since. But I'm starting to crave them a little bit. So I picked some up and uh, we'll see if I have any this week. So check out Carnivore Quest, buy me a coffee page. We post various things on there, behind the scene photos. And if you want to support Cassie and I and the work we put into Carnivore Quest, um, you can buy us a coffee while you're there. Really appreciate that. We give all our Buy Me A Coffee supporters a shout out at the end of the month, and we'd love to throw your name up there. If you made it this far, put in the comments, no eggs. Tuesday morning, going for a walk. Yeah, down to the mailbox. <laughs> I woke up today, uh, it's 7 o'clock in the morning right now. Woke up today and I'm not hungry at all. Which is typical for whenever I fast, extended. Second day is always hard for me. And the third day, I, I'm not really hungry when I wake up, so I don't know. Let's see if I eat today. Forgot to mention, last night before I went to bed, I almost had some butter. I came real close to throwing a couple pats of butter in my mouth, so I made it through. Well, it's 3 p.m. On Tuesday and that's 70 hours since I've eaten I'm ready I'm very hungry I just cooked up these eggs and man they're looking delicious oh yeah that's what I'm talking about right there now nah, you guys know I'm kidding <laughs> I'm not gonna eat that butter I got a steak in the air fryer I did it in the air fryer because I'm starving I'm ready to eat and I'm hungry these eggs are looking phenomenal Three eggs fried. Man, I can't believe it's been so long since I've had them. And uh, this is a tenderloin part of the T-bone. Oh yeah, I'm ready. It's like uh, once that hunger strikes, you know. I haven't fasted in a while. Salt on there. All right, here we go. Ooh, I'm starving. A little bit of egg. There it is right there. It's phenomenal. I'm back. Eggs are back. Eggs are back on the menu. Until next time, guys. No sugar, no carbs, no cheating. Love y'all.